It's such an inspiration to, to everybody. Hundreds of runners taking off in the first annual Dick Hoyt Memorial Yes You Can Run Together race in memory of the Boston sports hero who died in 2021. But in the last week, the event has taken on even greater meaning after the sudden passing of Dick's son Rick, who was and is still considered the official race director. Every race committee meeting, he would have a list and he would say, okay, what about this? On Monday, Rick passed away from complications to his respiratory system. He he had cerebral palsy, which left him quadriplegic. Dick pushed Rick in a wheelchair across thousands of finish lines, including 32 Boston marathons. For the Hoyt family, a race was the perfect way to honor him. And it had to be a five-mile race because the first time Dad and Rick ever ran together, they ran a five-mile race. Every time Rick said, can I, the answer always came back, yes, you can. That motto has inspired so many. That's the only reason why I run is because he enjoys it. He was very athletic uh, up until the age of 10 years old. He was hit by a drunk driver. So it means a lot to him. For many running, it's about giving back. She's always encouraging us to do races and things like this. So. To give back. How are you feeling about it? Um, I'm really excited. In the spirit of inclusivity, there is also a two-mile walk and a kid's fun run. Most of the kids running the race are going to be wearing double zero, and we're hoping they're going to ask why. And the reason is, is because the first time Dad and Rick ever ran together, Rick wore the number double zero. And everyone here knows Dick and Rick are looking down and cheering them on. Both of them have done so much for the running community. Open up the barriers. Uh, they're gonna live forever. Um, you know, so it's just a proper way to honor them. And everyone running today gets one of these special Yes You Can medals. And today's event, I will mention, has raised about $70,000 to fund the Dick and Judy Hoyt grants, which support inclusion efforts and provide opportunities to people with disabilities. In Hopkinton, Brown and WCVB.